we're here at the 300 consecutive cryptocurrency meetup in Manchester, New Hampshire, and we're tap room, and we're here with Marcus. Hey, how's it going? Now, if you don't know, Marcus, recently I saw on Facebook, a guy got a tattoo, and the tattoo was in the shape of a cartoon drawing done by this man. It, it was. And you actually brought stickers to this event. I did. I'm that were in that exact shape. That's right. I'm going to show you those stickers right now. Look, I have them in this so, bag here. I've actually sold some of these. So if you have seen this 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 uh, this picture of a guy with a, ta a tattoo of a Bitcoin in a roller coaster, <laughs> this is the man that drew that. Go ahead and sh show one to the camera. There. Oh, yes. Yeah, show it to the camera, please. Yeah, it's a, it's a famous, I think it's famous, right? The famous Bitcoin roller coaster. It right? is. The, it's the meme. Everybody knows Yes, it. but it's, it's so true to that <laughs> meme. It is a roller coaster. So I, I believe the correct way that you want to place this is, is this way. That is correct. You're so not, correct. Not this way. No. no. We no. always want to see it that it way. Going up. <laughs> yeah. He, he said, he's got his hands up in the air. He wants to be going up. That's he wants to be going up. That's going. right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, so I drew the uh, original uh, Bitcoin roller coaster and created it, made it into a gift. That was back in, I think it was 2013 was the year that I created that. And it was, of course, you know, because as soon as anybody got into Bitcoin, you learned, like, man, the price is like a roller coaster. And everybody talked about it. It wasn't like I came up with that idea. Just everybody was already talking about the roller coaster. I just wanted to draw it and make I, it happen. Right? I see this all the time. I, 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 it's all over Reddit. It's everywhere. This is infamous. Yeah, and I actually, uh, it is on Reddit a lot. And I have a page on my website where uh, I actually have a bit of a history on the Bitcoin roller coaster. It's on brainlesstales.com, but if you just search for it, you'll find that uh, that page. And it, I have some screenshots. There was a, a day on Reddit where the price was going up and down, and so this guy kept showing back up, going up, going down, going up, go, and like... The Stomach whole, churning. Yeah, and it was like there was multiple posts. It was very, very amusing to me especially. Yes. I've seen like all these posts of just the, the guy going up and down with the price. It, it was funny, and I have some screenshots of that on the... On the page, anyway. Do you have any other uh, of your? You've done a lot now. You, Brainless Tales went on for many years. Yeah, that was a, you, uh, was you, a daily comic I did for nine years. And nine I, years. I, I stopped doing that. How many yeah. thousands of comics was that? Yeah, there was over three thousand comics because I I published one every day. And actually, Bitcoin Roller Coaster was not one of the official like daily comics. It was like a separate thing. But I still branded it. I put like a logo on the original GIF. Um, for Brandon's Tales, and that's where he lives. But he wasn't in the normal flow of things, just because he was, he was so specific, and uh, you know, he was actually colored. He was full color. But my old comics weren't. But I actually had some other regular comics that included Bitcoin, but but not this one. This one was like special. He needed like his own separate thing. Yeah. So I mean, have you had any more comics that have, have reached that sort of acclaim that the roller coaster has? Uh, no, I mean, I I would say no because I feel like this is a, I feel like I'm a father of a meme, right? Like yes. the Bitcoin you roller coaster are. is a yes. meme, right? You are a father. This, this was a gift to the world. <laughs> yeah, it was a gift, a gift, a gift to the world. A gift to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us like to say GIF, even though we, we know that the, the, that the creator of the GIF thinks that it's pronounced GIF, even though it should clearly be it pronounced It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. I got news for you. Right. But, um... You know, uh, some of my comics have been, you know, like shared by some famous people and things like that. And I've certainly, I see them popping up in a lot of places, uh, you know, at different times. But, uh, you know, you can't, I don't think you can top that, you know, the... the the uh, the tattoo, yeah. When someone yeah, takes a piece of your art and tattoos it on their body, yeah, that's, that's a commitment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, commitment. Yeah, it was a really good rendering too. I thought the render, the tattoo was a very, very true likeness of the Bitcoin roller coaster. You know, it was like right spot on. But yeah, so I uh, I recently got these uh, die cut stickers made, and I uh, I just brought them today for the first time to sell them, and. Um, I, uh, I've sold uh, quite a few all for Bitcoin. I gave people a choice. They could pay for a few different ways. Everybody wanted to pay with Bitcoin because it's like, well, if we're buying the Bitcoin roller coaster sticker, it should be with Bitcoin. Bitcoin. You gotta go for a ride, yeah. and that means paying in Bitcoin. That's right. And that's how people paid. So I, I was happy to take it, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's really cool. So what other work do you do where you uh, accept uh, crypto for your services? You know, um, 
I have a full-time job where I don't get paid in crypto. <laughs> and that keeps me pretty busy. And I volunteer uh, a lot of work as well for uh, Porkfest, the Porcupine right. Freedom Festival. I, I do the website, so I do a lot of design and, and web development there. And that's all volunteer work, so I don't get paid for that. So ultimately, I don't take a lot of jobs um, that are uh, you know freelance, basically. I would love to um, if people want to pay in crypto. Uh, you know, it's it, it's always great, but. And I do sell some shirts and stuff with this guy on it, but those are done through Zazzle, which is a third-party service, right, and they don't so accept crypto. Not yet. Right, but I really wanted to sell something for, for Bitcoin, and so, you know, it was fun to be able to bring the stickers today and uh, get people buying them with Will with you Bitcoin. be selling these at Porkfest? Oh, absolutely. Awesome. I, I will definitely have them at Porkfest. So bring, bring your uh, Bitcoin and whatever, whatever other crypto you want, and... Uh, well, maybe not any other crypto. I mean, I'm, uh, there's only you a few. Do, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'm I'm not gonna down talk any any crypto, but it has to be one that I have a wallet for. You there know? you go. So, you know. All right. Yeah. So, but it's a good time. I, I listen to your show every once in a while. I don't listen to every episode, but I do listen now and then, <laughs> and I good. enjoy it. Well, thank you for thank being you. on, Marcus. Thank yeah. you.